Everybody repeat after me. There will be no rapture. And Jesus is not coming back. That you may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets, and of the commandment of us, the apostles, of the Lord and Savior, knowing this first, that scoffers will come in the last days, walking according to their own lusts. The Bible says there will be no rapture. And Jesus is not coming back. If you say that to them, you know what they're going to say? Right, exactly. That's the first thing. They're going to show me where it says that. So are y'all ready to do some Bible work here? You ready to make some notes? All right, let's do that. Do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is of the world. Well, it, it makes me angry. I'm sure it makes you angry as well when you hear these stories. You can almost call it a protected racket. And I'm talking about televangelists. That's right. The ones who rake in billions of dollars a year on donations because they are nonprofit ministries. Don't even have to declare any of this stuff. The men of the cloth don't have to tell anybody just how much they make or uh, even how they spend it. They don't even have to pay taxes. And now a Senate panel is investigating a money trail that leads straight into the pocketbooks of several of these televangelists. We're talking about lavish lifestyles here. Rolls Royce, $2,000 suits. And that's just the tip of the unchristlike personal greed involved in some of these churches. Ole Anthony is the president of the Trinity Foundation. Uh, he's investigated televangelists for 20 years now. You know, it, it, it's amazing. I mean, uh, I'm a Christian. And I certainly believe in doing everything you can. And it doesn't mean that these guys aren't allowed to have a nice suit and a nice house and a nice car. But when you start talking about a Rolls Royce and a mil several million dollar home and, and private Lear jets and, and a $23,000 toilet, I mean, that's just over the pale, isn't it? What did you go out into the wilderness to see? A reed shaken by the wind? But what did you go out to see? A man clothed in soft garments? Indeed, those who are gorgeously appareled and live in luxury are in king's courts. But what did you go out to see? A prophet? Yes, I say to you, and more than a prophet. When I think of Jesus Christ, and I think of the way we as Christians in many cases worship today, we are so unlike him, so unlike him in so many ways. Would Jesus do any of these things? Would Jesus drive a Bentley? Would Jesus wear a $2,000 suit? I mean, would Jesus buy a, a toilet worth $23,000? Knowing this first, that scoffers will come in the last days, walking according to their own lusts, and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. Well, how about would he uh, live in a $12.5 million mansion, fly a Citation 10 jet, or get plastic surgery for the man and woman so that they would appear nice on television. It's, it's, it's a travesty. And it's, as I said, we are not caring for the poor. The poor and the needy are who Christ called us to meet their need, not to become greedy money grubbers. But you, brethren, are not in darkness, so that this day should overtake you as a thief. You are all sons of light and sons of the day. We are not of the night, nor of darkness. You've looked into this. I mean, here's a couple of the names that are being investigated now by the Senate, uh, and they're asking them to come clean and say, look, how much you got and what are you doing with it? There's one of them right there, Benny Hinn. Another one is Creflo Dollar. Another one is Kenneth Copeland, uh, Bishop Eddie Long, Joyce Meyer, Randy White. Who are these people? But you, beloved, remember the words which were spoken before by the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ, how they told you that, there would be mockers in the last time who would walk according to their own ungodly lusts. These are sensual persons who cause divisions, not having the spirit. Well, Benny Hinn is someone that we've uh, I've met personally with. He made me a promise he was going to reform. He was going to stop living in mansions and driving expensive cars. He said we have to re-examine our calling because some of the ancient saints lived in caves. Now he's 
I mean, he's done. He's, it's far worse now. He's got a $12.5 million mansion oh, on the Pacific God. coast, <laughs> and he doesn't even have a church. It's his parsonage. You know what's Randy amazing? Randy and Paula White are, you know, they're, they're, they just got a divorce. They probably argued over who had the best plastic surgery. <laughs> It's, it's, it's a sham. And they say that they have a right to be prosperous, and that's exactly what Jesus would have wanted us all to do. They make it sound like it's wrong to not have money or not spend it. You know, we're going to stay on this. I was talking to my staff earlier today, and we say, you know, this is an important story that America needs to hear about. There's little old ladies out there who are giving their dollars to these guys, and they're using it like this, and they should be able to spend it, but not like this. It just seems wrong. Ole Anthony, you're good to bring us this information. We're going to call you back. Is that cool? That's great. I appreciate it, man. Can me, I? Yep. Yeah, go, go ahead. You want to finish up? Go ahead. Well, most there are many, many people in America that have been turned away from God by these men. And could I just say what I think God would say to these people? Please. He would say, O oh, stubborn and rebellious child, has my love no longer the power to melt your heart? Have you been driven away by those who claim to know me, but were filled with hypocrisy and greed and drunk with the stench of a death faith? Let the dead bury the dead. Let ignorance reproduce itself until it's weary of its own offspring. This is between you and me. This you is can no longer resist my spirit without suffering pain. Come back, all is forgiven.